Accessories, accessories, accessories. The icing on the cake. The sweet, sweet finishing touch of the puzzle. But not all accessories are made equal and some of them tend to attract a certain type of character. Hey, you're dripping, huh? Dripping, oh. Come on. Let me just count that for you as well, real quick. Oh. Just count. Oh. Hey, you're taking 30, bro. Rough, bro. Come on. But I you're robbing me, but then like you fuck with me. So let's talk about it. And first up is gonna be earrings. Niggas who wear earrings are a different breed. Plain and simple. I know that you guys think you're cute. Not handsome, not good looking, cute. Now I'm telling you, you can't even tell a nigga who wears both earrings that he's not fine. Because this dude won't even hear you. He's gonna be too busy picking out the right filter for his daily thirst trap. Rings. Dudes who wear this swear they've cracked some special secret cheat code with their fashion game that nobody else is doing. They really feel like those eight rings they've gone in his prime and just drawing those bitches in like Michael B. Jordan. But come on, we really know you up in these bitches' DMs on the regular, like... Let a nigga smash, please! Fitted hats. Now, as much as I want to clown on this just because of that trendy wave of popularity back in 2020 right into like 2022, right? I mean, this shit had everyone in the chokehold, right? Even me! But I gotta say, if this is your favorite type of hat, then you actually kind of valid, because these do go hard. There's tons of creativity and individuality with these two, since you can kind of get those custom patches, loads of different designs printed on these, so I got nothing really bad to say about this at all right if you're rocking fitted hats right now especially after the trend kind of died down you've valid to me belts now designer belts used to be a prestigious accessory adding that little luxury you know sparkle to your outfits and everything but nowadays Word. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nigga, what are you doing? Nigga, I see the belt, dog. Nigga, I, know I just bought this. Your... This has to be the biggest sign of a scammer or fake I've ever seen. If you're obnoxiously rocking these in fits that have no reason to have your shirt tucked in, my guy, you are a tryhard. Bracelets. Now, if you're on that bracelet type of timing with your favorite fashion accessory, then you know your shit because this is the ultimate subtle touch of accessory you can kind of add to your outfit. Do rags, head scarves, wraps. Uh, oh, just put us all in one category, okay? Now, dudes who wear this are just different. Like, come on, there's not really much I can say here, man. Like, come on. If you are on this type of timing with the durags, the headscarves, all that type of shit, right? You get tons of bitches, you got fat pockets, you're six foot five, you smell hella good. Like, come on. It's a given for anyone who wears durags, especially, to be fitting this criteria. Watches. Now, with the watches, right, you definitely got to be an aspiring business or finance bro, because I can just hear that Iman Gadzi tab playing on your laptop right now already. Like, I just know you're the type of dude to be into the whole hustle, entrepreneur culture. That shit has you in a chokehold, right? Bow ties. Now, if you're a bow tie type of dude, you want to dress formal, but you hate adhering to those traditional and those expected dress codes like the rest of them, scarves. It takes a certain type of elegance to rock the scarf in a fit. And if this is your favorite type of accessory, you have exactly that. Dudes who wear scarves are practically one step away from runway models because just look at this. Just come on. This is no joke. You guys are genuinely different from the rest of us. Like, come on. In fact, I should be taking your fashion advice because I could not rock a scarf as well as you guys. Necklaces. Now, if you're into rocking your chains, you're definitely on the swaggiest side of the spectrum when it comes to your style and you're definitely a dude who pays attention to little things in life. Crossbody bags. This one got to be one of my favorites when it comes to accessories because the right bag can add that touch of swag and functionality that I think is so underrated for men's fashion. Mostly because of that whole, you know, pressure of traditional gender norms and that stigma we have about man bags. Mm, no. Um, ooh. <laughs> Yeah, that's the one, that's the one. And last but not least is socks. You heard me right, socks. I'm telling you guys, don't sleep on socks, okay? They can be an underrated accessory to your fit if you play it right. And this is something so many people sleep on and wash over because, you know, it's not really a visible part of your outfit sometimes if you ain't wearing shorts and that type of shit, but come on. If you're a certified sock boy like me, then I already know you're just different with your style, man, because no one else is doing it like you or doing it like me. Like, we know how it goes out here, so. Yeah, that's going to be the last one for the video, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.